A varsity football team in Maryland is pleading for answers this morning. This after uh, the Prince George's County school leaders ended the team's run at the playoffs because of an apparent player violation. Bob's got more for us from Charles Flowers High School in Springdale. There is a lot of anger, frustration, confusion among parents and players here at Charles Flowers High School because their playoff game against Eleanor Roosevelt Friday was canceled at the last minute because the county told them they had a player that was in his fifth year of playing high school sports. Over the weekend, the team, the players, and their parents had a rally here saying, look, we had players earlier in the season, at the beginning of the season, that were told uh, they were not eligible to play, and so they were off the team. And now at the last minute, this team is 9-1. and one. They almost won the state championship last year, losing to Quince Orchard. They're in the 4A playoffs, and right before their game against Eleanor Roosevelt, they're told, no, you have a player that's ineligible. Your season is over. No more uh, run in the playoffs no future for you guys for a lot of these players who hadn't gotten scholarships yet and are hoping that will help pay for college. Here now are a couple of the players who were on with Chad Ricardo last night on our show in the sports. A lot of us had our bags packed. Like I still even have my bag, my backpack back at home. So wow. we're getting ready to leave, head out, get ready for walkthroughs and team dinner. And the team is the, the main feeling is confusion, disbelief, and just overall sorrow because we don't understand like what is going on how could this happen to us it was just heartbreaking it just feel like we got let down by the county feel it's betrayed we just work hard as young men and the county's supposed to love and prepare us as young men and women for the next level and to be great individuals in this and it's just it's just crazy yeah. our season you know 37 seniors we have on the team 37 seniors just our season right on the coattails of something that just happened just hours before the game like Aiden said why now like why why couldn't this happen beforehand and why did it happen right before we were about to play it seemed calculated to me so still more questions than answers here they're told it was an ineligible player but they want more specifics and are wondering why this happened at the last minute again a player who apparently had according to the school here been cleared to play earlier in the season and now upsetting their playoff run at the last minute we'll still uh, be asking questions of prince george's county school officials and when we get them we'll pass them on to you guys